Welcome back to Fire Dragon, and we are here today with another episode of Fortress Craft Evolved. Um, so I ha since I have my new computer, if you even knew about this, this is only my second episode since I got my new computer. But since I got my new computer, I can perfectly play Fortress Craft Evolved with no issues. And right now, I'm actually downloading the uh, Steam. Uh, a dedicated server for Fortress Craft Evolved, and then me and my friend, uh, Vampire of 1050, Jackson 1050. I'm just going to call him Jackson from now on through all of my episodes, but um, will be playing with me because he loves this game too. He just didn't have the computer to do it, and now he has a computer as well, a good desktop. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and start my own world. Hopefully, I get to choose which world I use to. Uh, um, what do I call it? Uh, put on my server, that's what I was looking for. Um, hopefully I get to choose one of my already created worlds. I'm sure I will. I don't know why I wouldn't be able to. But either way. Uh, so we're gonna keep this all default. And create world. But anyway, and then I'll put this world up on the server whenever it's done, and then me and my friend can play. And I'll go ahead and get a bunch of stuff done. I won't bore you with all the stuff you've already done. Although there has been a ton of updates, so actually I might want to do that. Power power generation, orc extracting, and smelting bars, all and a two-star generation. Very good to know. Whoa. Oh, that's awesome. Does this say Todd? Your name is Todd. I didn't know that. Oh, cool. This beginning credits. That's awesome. Cool. Uh, we are in the tutorial. I'm actually going to turn down my microphone volume because last episode I noticed it was kind of loud. There we go. That ought to be better. Hopefully, at least. Hopefully it's better for you. And, oh, the no lag. Oh, it's beautiful. I've never played this game with no lag before, so this is fantastic. Alright, so press E. Add resources. Nice. Take power. Probably not the best idea to do that, but whatever. What else are we supposed to do? Power storage blocks are the main method of storing power. Charge your suit from the power storage block. Uh, I just charge my suit from the actual thing, but okay. Or extractors are con uh, collect resources automatically. Yes, they do. Add power. Gotta add all of the power. And, whoa, there's a flashlight and rocket thing. This is so different. Like, I haven't played this game in so incredibly long, and it's fantastic. I'm gonna go ahead and add a couple of resources. Can I do that? Oh, it's already... You can't do that unless thing is out and oh yeah I forgot you can now look into store toppers which you could not before and this is fantastic oh my gosh this game is amazing um not Q E there we are uh, let's go ahead and add some powder here so I don't bother with it stealing energy from there there we are where's my suit power well I mean it's there but I'm guessing I'm supposed to ping Woo. all right there we are. Researching the scans gives you research points, which is over here. It is. Process. Recipes. Cool. Projects. Nothing new there. Yet. Uh, craft an Arthur po Oh, this is... <gasps> I love this game. Just saying. This is literally the best game ever. I'm not joking. That's no near a joke. Nowhere near a joke. Okay, what am I doing? Okay, tutorial complete. Awesome! I know how to play this game too. So this is fun. This game is absolutely fantastic. And here we are. And I need another hopper there. I need to get a regular hopper, but for now I cannot do that because that requires iron, if I remember correctly. Which I'm pretty certain I do. Um, so now that you have all the basics, I will go ahead and find some veins. Start trying my best to hook them up and then come back whenever that happens and I'm able to create stuff. Ooh, unknown black detected. YouTube playing, uh, the, uh, not playing, well, some, sometimes just playing, but most of the time actually, like, coding and working, and so, you know, you kind of have to play in order to get 
find the bugs and to fix them and to find out if they work or not if like fixing the bugs worked or not so that's what i meant by playing but um either way uh he uh, he he does like 12 hour live streams so you can just hop in anytime there are not that many people that watch it which is sad but also good because that means you can have a pretty much face to face chat with this guy um which is awesome. You can just type in the chat and he'll see it. And of course, if it's something actually relevant, then he'll talk back to it. Or if it's not relevant, uh, as long as it's not stupid or something, if he has something to say to it, he'll talk to you. Uh, which he's a cool guy. He's an awesome guy. Um, DJ Arcus uh, is his n game name, and Projector Games is his YouTube live name. So if you go to this channel, he also has uh, the archives of his streaming on his YouTube channel. So there are hours upon hours upon endless hours of game of uh, coding stuff there. So either whether or not you're interested in coding, um, specifically if you are interested in coding and learning how to create a video game, which I am, um, and also if you're uh, just you just like development process and like a good creator that he he does, he makes good con content. It's not all just uh, coding stuff. It's still him playing and all that stuff, uh, so it's it's really fun. But what um, also is, I was gonna say, I was gonna say something and I can't remember what it is now. I'll come back whenever I remember what it was. Oh, I remember what I was gonna say. Sorry about that. Um, but he also does non Fortress Craft Fridays where he works on his other games, um, which is awesome because it's not just. Uh, like his channel that is is not just him streaming uh fortress craft evolve all the time so every friday he also codes a different of his game and does other things not just codes he doesn't 100 percent always code because uh, you know that'd be a horrible life uh but either way the guy's awesome you guys should go check out his channel i'll put an annotation on the screen and a link in the description down to his thing uh down to his channel and to the Steam page of this game because you should buy it. It's five dollars right now, four dollars and like eighty cents, but that's on sale. It's normally like ten dollars, I believe, but is one hundred percent worth the money. Like legitimately, I would say this game is worth fifty dollars. One of those AAA title Xbox games. This, I'm serious. This game is awesome. I don't think I can stress it enough, and I'll quit saying that over and over uh, because that's what I'm doing. <laughs> Sorry, but yeah, let's go ahead and scan all these. Refune rock, tree trunk, leaves, purple glow pod, bobble berry, orange glow pod, glow shroom, and dirt. All right, and then those researching those gives you research points, um, and then this tells you I'm assuming wh how many things that you can there are to research. I'm not certain about that because I really I just don't know or maybe this is like craftable things that you've researched here but i'm gonna go over to projects and go to basic oh no sorry i'm gonna go to power grid this allows you to get good power materials like better power storage blocks and laser stuff you'll know in the future if you don't already know so let's go with basic mining upgrades as well which will allow the ore extractors to go faster by inserting little drills and different stuff like that and suit upgrades they allow you to work better and stuff improved door scanning is good because you can create single use items that improve your suits built-in or scanning capability so like if you've researched copper ore before and you have one copper ore in your inventory along with some other materials i don't remember what they are um but you can combine those to make a um an ore scanner that scans specifically for that ore and it's pretty cool of course it has a range but Either way. And laboratories are pretty important, but we're not going to do that now. Black box data. I still don't know quite what that does. I'd like to, but I don't. And of course, all these projects, some of them I think actually unlock things, but I'm pretty certain most, if not all, go into the recipes. So that means whenever you unlock a project, it unlocks recipes for you to research. Um, like the MKA Power Core Charger, which allows you a little boost of power whoops um to arthur whenever he's out like he gives you power whenever you're out as long as he has it so if you take like 10 of these you have so much more power to take with you uh whenever you're adventuring and that kind of stuff and this is the basic drill motor which you can get more of in the future once you do more projects and researching and stuff and eventually these projects are too advanced for this research terminal so you get laboratories and you can create like a three by three by three laboratory that uh 
you can put in different stuff and get research stuff, which we'll we'll go over this in the future. Uh, I don't want to get too into depth in the future of the future until we're in the future. <laughs> but and then suit power pack allows you to have instead of 256, you could have 500, I believe. Uh, actually, it says double, so it ought to be about. 600 ish uh, power total so you can carry more power suit headlight that's very helpful because it gets very very dark down below um threat scanner that little scans the threat that's obvious storage crate you can store stuff uh which i prefer uh, storage hoppers because those are uh better looking and now now that you can you can look into the thing and see that but you do have to use conveyor belts to get it in there i believe can i just drag yeah you have to actually use conveyor belts to get it in there which is which is annoying but it's perfectly fine you can actually mm, i'm stupid i don't know what i'm thinking you can just hit q and that takes it or what is it it's not e how do i insert is oh it's t and i can store that and then i can look in there and take it uh clearly so yeah actually now that i think about it it's 100% better. Uh, either way, it's good. It has 100 store spaces, and I think the wooden crate only has like 20 or something. But the good thing about the wooden crate, or st storage crate, sorry, is you place one down, it has like 25 inventory slots, you place another down, and from either one that you access, they're combined. So it's like one chest, uh, and this and this one chest, whichever storage crate you decide to open it from, doesn't matter. Uh, it'll have 50 storage things, and then you add another one, and you can have like a three wide, and you can just have this long row of it, and you can just go in the front and insert it all. It's pretty awesome. Um, although I don't think I'll be using it that much. And press H. What is it? Oh, help! I don't need that. I know this game. <laughs> uh, so, what else was I gonna say? I was saying something specific about the storage crates. It's useful, not very storage much, uh, much, but it does only take wood, which is a benefit. Um, so I might use that before I get to super stuff. I don't know what I'm saying, but hopefully you understand what I'm saying. I'm going to go and grab a bunch of wood, and then I'm going to search for ores, and we'll come back definitely whenever I get ores uh, in the process, or at least as soon as I find one. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and upgrade the suit power pack. Uh, of course, I still have to craft this. This isn't like an instant upgrade, but I'm going to go ahead and get this and the uh, suit headlight, almost the storage headlight, as well as this and I don't really need it and now solar cell is more important although I could still get this but I think there's a project oh nope there's not all right I'm gonna go ahead and grab this uh, then as well but what we have scanned and determined that exists is copper ore which I do not have in my inventory but I have scanned it and we are here for it uh, it's right it's literally right here what's this mission report 15 after 15 minutes you get in a uh, mission report. This is new. Um, total machines, 14. Threat level, no scanner built, so I don't know. Ore, ore extractors, 1 is online. Coal ore extractor, uh, 95%. I don't quite know what that means. Power, base battery is 399 out of 400. 99% used. I don't, still don't know what that means. 99% used. Um, either way, power thermal generators, I think that's what that is. And then laser power transmitter i have one known with limited storage i don't have any mass storage system which is coolness in the future i have three conveyors which can become invested invested infested by enemies in the game uh you'll see those in the future as one specific type of enemy um and then another type of enemy super far below but it just attacks it it doesn't really infest it i think not certain about that oh okay guys you're okay um this is fine. I'm going to go ahead and set this to 60 minutes because I don't really need it that often. But if you do not know, if you've never seen this game before, Spider Bot. Or as we in the Fortress Craft Evolved community like to call it, Spider Bro. Because he is your best friend. He's this awesome, derpy looking bot. Um, which you can add weapons and power cores and that kind of stuff to him. He originally, he uh, started off default with a bunch of weapons and stuff and attacked enemies for you. But as the game has progressed and evolved, Spider Bro has been determined that it is a better idea for us to craft stuff because people are getting really annoyed with the fact that his shots were destroying blocks. And they only destroy base blocks like dirt, snow, leaves, that kind of stuff. Nothing that you would ever place down unless you're horrible at building. 
and personally, I don't see why people got so fussy over it, but they did, and so he's like, all right, fine, we'll just have it, uh, people will add stuff to him, and so he created this awesome system of doing it, which we will get to in the very far future, because I'm not quite that advanced to create, it, it costs a lot of lithium and different power machines, that kind of stuff, but either way, this guy is the best, is the best thing in this game, he's pretty awesome, but as we were going, I'm gonna place a torch down so I can see it there. And a couple torches as we go. We got some whoops, uh we got some kappa. So we're gonna dig out a nice little hole here. Not that big. Just enough for me to place down a torch right there. Have an ore extractor there. And a storage hopper here. And then I'll have power therm or I mean power storage block there. And I do not have any conveyor belts, which stinks, but I do have power inside of me, um, and do I have, I do, I have power, basic laser energy transmitters, so we're going to see how far we can get with this, um, I'm going to create a nice tall thing over here for me to shine up above, and one cool thing about this game, if you hadn't already noticed, uh, the cursor, or your building ability is as far as you can see. Uh, so that's pretty cool. So it's a pretty unique idea. One thing about that you might end up seeing in this episode, I doubt it, but you might end up seeing it. There are uh, little crash things that land on the surface of um, the planet, and so you can go pick those up and that kind of thing. But anyway, those uh, little drop pods that fall from the sky, um, they contain some things that you need. I don't know what, I really have only dealt with them a couple of times, uh, to be honest, but that still, it still happens, so that's good to know. And we're going to go ahead and set this here, rotate it, turn it this way, have some dirt this way, Let's see, oops, not quite right, well dang it, snoo, go back, I don't want things to look ugly, but yeah. Alright, and then we're gonna have ourselves another one going this way. And I do not need this here. Or that there. Oh man, that's almost perfect. I think it's hitting into that block though. Yep. Oh wait, no, that's, that is perfect. What am I thinking? Oh no, I do need another block there. Eh, stop it. Yeah, I'm bad at the grappling hook. Whenever it comes to one by one little things here. There we are. Nope. Uh. Come on. Come on. There we are. That's much better. And we'll place one here. And put a power thingy thing going here. I'm dumb. Does not matter. No harm. I can do this. Can't see anything. Um. Yep. Put it close. Ah. Could have just done this. It would have worked fine. But whatever. Let us put this here. I don't know where to put this because I'll put it there, and I can not put this here. What am I thinking? This will go here. I'll take that. I clearly don't have any. I'll, I'll just do this. That's good. You're getting some power, not much, but some, and it is perfectly fine. And we'll want to make a conveyor belt going up this way. Eventually, as soon as I get a conveyor belt, that is. But, for now... Pick that up, pick that up, pick that up! Dang it. Your range for picking up things is pretty far, but apparently not that far. It's like five blocks, I think, in any direction. But of course, you know, there's a time limit for whenever you pick up things. I don't know why I said of course, but it is the truth, and I need some power because I'm getting hypothermia, and that's what happens whenever you run out of power. You get hypothermia and freeze to death. So, yeah. There's that. Now we have some copper going on, and we have some coal in our inventory, as well as some copper in our inventory. Um, let's place this here and here. I want this on... Add only? I can never remember which one it is. It doesn't matter. One of them's on add only and one of them's remove on only. One uh, add only, I think, means that it only is added to and remove only is it's only removed from, but I can't remember if it's only added 
like it only adds and one only removes. I can never remember which one it is, but we're about to find out because I get to put this in here. Oh, and this just uses, I forgot it doesn't use coal, it uses power in order to smelt things. I completely forgot about that. But why did I put all of that in there? I wanted, where's my copper? There it is. I want to put it in there. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so this one, the remove only, is the only can be removed from, I believe. So, and also this tells you the most recent thing that was there. And clearly I can just open it up and see what's there. Um, but anyway, that's going to be all for this episode. So, thank you guys for watching. And hopefully next time we can get some multiplayer. Or if not, we'll just continue on building. This is fun for me. Hopefully it's fun for you guys. If it is, leave it in the comments. If it's not, tell me why in the comments. Uh, yeah, so thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you in the next episode of Fortress Craft Evolved on Fire Dragon.